lots of clouds today, but it seems like the sun's actually trying to come out after that huge rain yesterday. Although there were some cool shots though afterwards when the sun was coming out. And what was going on today? Uh, I guess as expected, there were announcement about the new Autel drones. Worst kept secret type of thing. And it seems like here they announced the Evo Nano and the Evo Lite. And interestingly enough, as mentioned before, there's multiple versions. So how about we start with the Nanos? It says here for the Evo Nano, this one here is a 48 megapixel camera and can record ultra sharp 4K video. It's kind of what we expected overall. But as mentioned, there's multiple versions. So there's this one here called the Nano Plus. So what's the Nano Plus? It says the Evo Nano Plus is packed with a 1128 inch CMOS sensor capable of 50 megapixel photos. A RYYB color filter array design with a large aperture of f1.9 offers superior noise reduction capabilities and the power to effortlessly produce quality images in low light conditions. That's what they're trying to claim anyways, that this thing will be a beast in nighttime mode. I have my doubts I guess in terms of something that small. And then there's the Evo Light. This one says the instant lightweight champion, world's first four axis gimbal design. The Evo Light is the first drone in the world to introduce a four axis gimbal design enabling you to shoot vertical videos for easy editing and sharing on mobile devices. And it says it has a 50 megapixel camera and a 1 1.28 inch CMOS sensor. All the stuff that we knew pretty much already. And then there's the Evo Light Plus. This one says cut through the darkness, take back the night. There seems to be a theme here where all their Plus lineups have larger sensors where they advertise it's good for nighttime. And as expected, this one says it has a 1 inch CMOS sensor. And for the camera itself, it's about a 20 megapixel camera. I know people will be confused by that saying, hey, how come it's so much less if this is the plus version? Again, you have to factor every single component in and whether or not it works together, I guess you could say, to produce a better picture. For example, less pixels but larger ones, it could be better for nighttime and all that. And in terms of the pricing, apparently, for the Evo Nano series, it'll be about $649 and $799. And for the light, it'll be about $1,149 and $1,249. That's what the claim is anyways, which I found kind of funny where they didn't actually fully publish it, like all on their site and so forth. Is that a good price or is it too expensive, you would say? I guess ultimately it does come down to things like performance or the other factor, how would you think their customer service is? Now I guess the next question would be inventory. Will companies actually be able to deliver on their promise? I know in the past Autel has such hype for their Evo 2 drones and so forth, but they didn't actually have stock or anything like that and it didn't get released for so long. I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of these announcements too is an effort to, I guess, stifle the other competition and make people wonder because if there's like a new Mavic coming out, for example, people would say, hmm, maybe I should wait because this one's coming out too. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. I thought this was kind of interesting where I read before that Amazon was trying to release a consumer drone basically for security purposes and I guess they officially announced it today it says a new kind of camera that flies. The world's first flying indoor security cameras for your home is coming soon. So they're calling this the always home cam. Is that the actual official name? And their materials it says have a look around when you're away. You can basically monitor it through the phone and according to this if something is triggered, like in terms of a sensor and motion detectors, the thing will start flying around, I guess, indoors to see what's going on. And you can apparently, I guess, pre-program where to go. It makes you wonder whether or not this thing could fly outside because it would be, quote, illegal, correct? And funny enough, just by reading their FAQs, it actually does say that this is meant for indoor use only when people are asking you fly it outdoors. With that thought, it actually makes me wonder about the practicality of this, where for the price of it and the fact that you have to keep recharging the thing, will it be more practical to actually just buy a bunch of, I guess, home security cameras indoors? It says for the actual video quality, it's what, 1440 by 1440? So that's not too bad in terms of quality. Will people actually embrace stuff like this? Or is it just one of those, oh no, we're getting to that future where everything's gonna be flying around with cameras and all that.
Alright, see you guys later.